So there was a story circulating yesterday across most of the websites that I visit on a daily basis. I saw it posted over at Reddit. I saw it in, you know, major outlets, all of them talking about the fact that Forbes has uncovered this audio of Donald Trump doing an interview, I believe with them, maybe not, but I think it's with Forbes. Uh, but anyway, Forbes has it now. It's an interview Trump did in 2015. And all of the headlines, all of the folks on social media, they say that this audio recording absolutely dooms Donald Trump's only legal defense in the New York fraud trial. Now, before I read you what was on that tape, let me explain the defense, right? Donald Trump's defense is now and has been that he was not involved in any of the fraud, right? We're giving these people bad numbers about the square footage of our apartments, about the size of our buildings, the number of floors in the buildings, but I didn't come up with those numbers and I never saw them after the people who created them came out with them. Like I news to me, you're showing me for the first time is effectively what he's trying to say. But in this audio from 2015, Donald Trump is heard repeating the false numbers that are on the financial reports. Let me read you. This is him doing the interview. He says, this is the entire floor of Trump tower. Just so you understand, this isn't like, I'll, I'll show you now this wraps all around the building, all around the elevators. And I have three times three. So there's like 11,000 feet on a floor. So I have three, so 33,000 and I have the roof. Now, uh, Forbes also notes that the recording undercuts Trump's claims made at the trial that he had personally noticed the problem and had ordered his accountants to correct it. So not only does he say I had nothing to do with it and I never saw it, but I also did see it one time, but then I told them to fix it, but I'm also spouting these fake numbers. So the question becomes how off are Donald Trump's numbers that he is spouting off to this interviewer? Four four square feet because the actual square footage, he says it's 11,000 is actually 10,996 square feet. So he, he just rounded up by four square feet. I don't know, but that, that doesn't sound like it completely destroys his legal defense, right? I mean, somebody asks you like, Hey, what's the square footage of your house? What are you, you're going to, you're going to round to the nearest whole number. You're not going to be like, Oh, it's a 2,192.8 square feet. No, you're not going to do that. You'd be like, eh, it's like 2,200 square feet. I'm, I'm so look, you're a regular viewer of this channel. You know, I am not on Trump's side ever, but I also repeatedly routinely regularly call for accountability in the media. And things like this piss me off to no end because this isn't destroying his legal defense. This is just somebody not wanting to say 10,996 when you could easily just be like, yeah, it's 11,000. It's easier. It's, it's a four square foot exaggeration. Now, to be fair, if the actual square footage is 10,996 and on the, you know, bank applications, if they put 11,000, then yes, that's, that's illegal because four square feet, especially in Manhattan, Hey, that's going to change the value of a building, but just rounding up a little bit when you're talking to a reporter so that you can save syllables that doesn't destroy his legal defense. Like shame on all of these media outlets who claimed this because this is bull crap. And I saw this story in at least seven different areas, like seven different websites had the same story, all basically trying to say the same thing that Trump's legal defense is destroyed. Listen, he doesn't have much of a defense at all. And his lawyers are garbage. But if you think that exaggerating by four square feet in an interview kills his legal defense, then maybe it's time you learn a little bit more about how both the court system works and interviews work. Because I got to tell you, exaggerations of four square feet to save yourself some syllables. That's not going to get you convicted. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, 
click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.